one of the really interesting studies that uh, was presented here at the American Heart Association meeting in Chicago was the Pioneer HF study. This was a study examining the impact of Secubitril Valsartan versus Enalapril in patients with acute decompensated heart failure and a reduced ejection fraction. People might say, well, wait a minute, we already know that Secubitril Valsartan is beneficial in patients with reduced ejection fraction heart failure, and that's very true. The Paradigm HF study showed a 20% reduction in mortality and hospitalization for heart failure, but these were in patients that were stable patients that were not hospitalized. And concern existed about the potential risks of using a powerful vasodilator like Secubitril Valsartan in patients with decompensated heart failure. These are patients that are receiving intravenous diuretics. They may have unstable kidney function. And so a study was uh, felt uh, to be needed. Pioneer examined the randomized effect of Secubitril Valsartan versus Enalapril, about 400, a bit more in each arm, um, over a relatively short period of time, just a couple of months after hospitalization. Patients were randomized in the hospital and began on Secubitril Valsartan and uh, Enalapril and then had the drugs titrated up. The primary endpoint of the Pioneer study was the change in circulating and terminal pro-BMP concentrations. Other very important endpoints included safety, as well as clinical events. The trial met its primary endpoint with a robust early within a week and over the eight-week course uh, reduction in N-terminal BMP by 27% greater relative risk reduction in the geometric mean for the N-terminal BMP. So a much greater effect on the biomarker compared to standard care therapy. The safety and tolerability was excellent for both drugs, so no new safety concerns and shows the inpatient initiation of this drug is as easy to use and as safe and as well tolerated as an ACE inhibitor ARB. Perhaps most exciting were the exploratory outcomes. Uh, the heart failure hospitalization rate was reduced from 13.8 to 8% in that first week uh, first eight weeks, that was a highly statistically significant close to 50% relative risk reduction. That is a greater magnitude in reduction and readmission for heart failure than we've seen with any other intervention. So this really opens up an entirely new avenue for the in-hospital initiation of Secubitril Valsartan for all of our eligible patients with heart failure with reduced EF. Well, I think one of uh, the new features of uh, this study is the fact that for the first time we have some positive results in the treatment of patients with acute heart failure. Following the Paradigm trial, which was in patients with chronic heart failure, here we have a treatment strategy that was proven and was shown today that has an impact in the way that uh, we can manage patients with acute heart failure. And the main translational result here will be the fact that it can, based on these results, we can potentially extend the use of uh, this drug in the acute setting in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction and who fulfill the criteria, inclusion criteria of the trial. So I think that's a big uh, and important step on the, in terms of having a, a positive study in the management of patients with acute heart failure. So this adds very reassuring data to suggest that we should be initiating the drug in the hospital in our decompensated patients. Lastly, and perhaps uh, icing on the cake, so to speak, is the fact that a composite outcome measure of um, rehospitalization, death, and other heart failure events was reduced as well compared to enalapril, which, although the study was not powered to explore this endpoint, adds even further uh, emphasis on the importance of this novel therapy.